Do you really want to change? Hi, I'm Nadine Zwareg. In this short video, I will help you identify whether you're ready or not, whether you're ready to make those changes or not. You see, no one can make another person change. Only the person himself or herself can. They have power and control over their choices and can make that choice. I can only help you identify where you are now, your current behaviors, where you want to go, and create a plan that will facilitate the change. So how can we bring about change, both mentally and physically? Change, as I said before, is a process. We go from not thinking about change to thinking about it, planning it, and testing various means of creating it. But most people don't like change. They are happy with their current situation, with the current results, because at least they know what it is. If you don't believe me, look at all these people who are in a dead-end job or more bound marriages. Excuses, excuses, excuses. If they spend years in those situations. To illustrate, I'm going to tell you the story of one of my clients, Sarah. Sarah wanted to change. Change physically and emotionally. She wanted to lose weight, feel better about herself, and start doing the things that she longed to do. So I asked Sarah to do a simple test that I invite you to also do. That is to take a piece of paper and a pen and start listing all the pros and all the cons of why you want to make that change. So if your pros, like Sarah, her pros were far exceeding the cons, that meant she was interested. But being interested is not sufficient. You have to be committed. And there is a difference between being interested and being committed. As I mentioned that before in previous videos, in being interested is doing whatever is convenient. You make an appointment uh, for Tuesday to uh, have a haircut and when the day comes, you call and cancel it. That's what's convenient, right? Being committed, you'll do whatever it takes. And generally, that means it has to come from within. You have to feel that strong desire to change. In other words, you need to already know what that change is. So once you wrote down all the pros and cons, you also need to identify what you want for yourself. Identify what you truly want for yourself. Because if you don't know, you won't go anywhere. Know what you want. See what you want. When you start seeing the changes that you want to make, you're most likely to move forward and outsmart your ego, outsmart your mind, which is telling you not to do the things you need to be doing and stay in what we call homeostasis. In biology, our organs, our system, our organs work together to maintain internal stability. That is a biological fact. We do the same thing. Just because we're afraid of what's going on on the other side of change. 
So my friends, if you really truly want to change, you must start writing down why you want to change and what stops you. I'm reminded of a quote, I can't remember who said that, but it says, what are you dying from that stops you from living the life you want to live? What are you dying from? that stops you from the living the life you want to live. So, if you truly want to change, my friends, you need to face your fears. You need to face your fears. If it's losing weight that you want, if, if that weight is not allowing to live the life you want, get rid of it. Start doing the things and thinking the things that will allow you to lose the weight. If you are in a nasty relationship and it's not working, you need to start moving forward and let go of the things that let you go already. If you are in a job that is a dead-end dead job that is making you feel anxious and fearful and, and just find another job. Make that change. What is the pro of making the change of moving forward from a moribund marriage that is not, no longer working? Is living your life again. Be free. That is, these are the pros. Freedom. Being able to be free. To do the things you wanted. To love yourself again. Love someone else again. The cons of making the move is you're afraid, right? Don't be afraid. So, start moving forward. Start making those choices. Yes, it is not easy. But the reward of making those changes will drastically improve your life. And you know that. Deep down, you know it. So, do you really want to change? I hope this video will help you. Please like and subscribe. Also, please visit my website at nordinezwareg.com, nordinezwareg.com. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.